Question from Bogota. What does it mean to work on the left line only 30 minutes a day? Bar Salaam writes also in letter 17 that criticism should only be in this ratio of working in the right line 23.5 hours a day and then half an hour a day working in the left line. He just gives us this sort of ratio between left and right here because the whole work in the right is the work of making the efforts to move from left to the right. So here, we're talking about after making the right preparation in the 23.5 hours of being in the right, and he gets himself accustomed to being in the right, working in the right, then he forcefully tries to awaken the left, which doesn't go that easy. Rather, he is already used to clinging to the right, to the Creator, being in chasadim, and feeling that he is in chesed. And then, how much can he add to chasadim? So like we learn about the relationship in the Partsuf, that there is Galgal Ta'anayim, which is Katnut. And we must always yearn for Katnut. And the Gadlut is only an addition. Like we learn about Achap Da'aliyah, meaning a very small portion of the vessels of reception that can join the vessels of bestowal. And here, he talks about it in relation to time. Let's say, we can weigh it in different forms. But again, I say it's it's not that a person feels like criticizing, rather like he went and built the right line with great difficulty and invested in that and then became included in that. Similarly, he's now going to awaken the left. You can imagine it like this. We are in front of the Creator. There's none else besides Him. And the Creator puts on Himself an external clothing, which is the whole of reality. Still vegetative, animate human beings. Different broken vessels, etc. And through that clothing, we need to dress into Him, receive Him, and thus attain the Creator. So, when we penetrate through the clothing to the Creator, we first have to acquire vessels of bestowal, and only then with a small addition to it, we add vessels of reception. Well, that's the matter of half an hour a day. We can, we can define it in terms of weight or distance or other measurements, but the thing is that we need to yearn for katnut as the main thing. And Gadlut is only an addition. And the addition needs to be very, very thought out. Or and a person who works, who's going to work with the vessel of reception, we need to understand it's not working with your regular vessels of reception. Rather, you weigh with what vessels of reception you can work in order to add contentment to the Creator on top of the vessels of bestowal that you acquired. Meaning, working with the vessels of reception is a lot more difficult and exalted and great than the work of building the vessels of bestowal beforehand, the relationship of bestowal with the Creator. 
So here, in different ways, Kabbalists explain to us how hard is this work and how we can achieve it. Meaning, to what extent we need to weigh it with regards to the vessel of bestowal. Oh. That's still ahead of us. We'll, we'll come to that. More questions? Yeah.